Okay, so just to clarify, uh, we finished uh, the last video saying that if we have a t go from our plus to complex numbers, it's a continuous function that satisfies functional equation, then it's a unique a such that dt is equal to et a for all t with n equal to zero. So why one can say that the function a x satisfies um, the the functional equation. Okay, that means that a x plus y is equal to a x a y and a of zero is one. And we said that if uh, it satisfies, then x is a unique a such that it is e t a. So it's important to say that we can write a x as equal to e b x with b equal to log a. Okay just using the properties of logarithm. Okay, one can arrive that are the same function. So if one have this the satisfied functional equation, one would arrive that it can also be expressed as what the theorem says. E B X. Okay. So now we know that uh, if we have um continuity plus that the function satisfies the functional equation then we will have differentiability and this will happen very often and um, the um, the cases of this different cases of the CP group linear operators Okay, so now let's consider matrix semigroups. Okay, now we will have a T that will go from R plus to in N of uh, let's say complex numbers. Okay, so these are all complex N by N um, matrices. Okay, and now the functional equation will be once again. Um, t of t plus s equal to t t t s okay this is for all t s greater than equal to zero and t zero equals identity okay now in the matrix world okay so now we want to find all the maps again like we did before um, that satisfies um, the functional equation um, the maps T um, go from R plus to the matrix okay Okay, so a definition for any A in M N complex numbers and T a real number, we define the matrix exponential E T A defined by ETA will be equal by definition to the sum k equals to zero infinity of tk ak k factorial k. This is the definition and uh, taking any norm in the, in the complex number, let's say in CN, and the corresponding matrix norm in MN. Uh, one can prove that uh, the norm of ETA is less than equal than ET norm A. So one can prove that uh, the portion sums of the series um, 
form a Cauchy sequence and converges. So the, the series converges. Okay, and this is a bound, norm bound that one can find. And one can see the following property or proposition for any A in M N complex numbers, the map T to ETA this is in M N complex numbers, this is in R plus. This map is continuous and satisfies. Well, E of T plus A is A is equal to E T A E S A and E zero a is equal to identity. Okay, so to prove this, first let's remember two things. First, the Cauchy product for series. Okay, um, we have an infinite series. Okay, we have the product of two infinite series. Bn, this will be equal to the sum of n equals zero of the sum k equals zero and a k b n minus k. And also the binomial theorem x plus y n is equal to k equals zero the sum of n factorial k factorial n minus k factorial x n minus k y k. Okay, so let's see this first. Well, we know that uh, this series on oh, TK AK over K factorial converges. Okay, so since this series converges we're going to show using the Cauchy product that we already saw. Well, if we have this, okay, the sum, infinite sum of uh, first TK, AK, K factorial, SK. A k. This goes from uh, k equals to zero. K factorial. Okay. These two sums, and now we want to use the Cauchy product for series. So we will have um that uh, this product. is equal to well the infinite sum a equals zero finite sum k equals zero n of t n minus k a n minus k n minus k factorial multiplied by s k a k and k factorial okay and this will be equal I mean, to the, one can take for example the binomial theorem okay so um one will have the 
infinite series equal zero and if we put an n factorial here we would have the binomial theorem so p plus is n a n and then we just have to get out get rid of the n factorial okay because we have an n factorial here okay so here we have e t plus s a okay this proves the functional equation okay if we say that this is a functional equation okay but we also said that uh, it's continuous so let's see that okay so now we want to see the t the map t to eta is continuous okay so first we will, we will observe that uh, by the functional equation we have that e t plus h a minus e t a is equal to e t a e h a minus identity okay just using the functional equation here we will have the e t e h no well, let's say a and a okay so this is for all t and h in r but uh, with this if we see that the limit when h goes to zero of e h a if we see that this limit is equal to the identity then it will be continuous this morning okay so the limit when h goes to zero we'll say that this limit will be equal to e t a okay okay so to see this we'll look at the norm of e h a minus identity and this will be equal to well we have the definition of this that is uh, h k a k k factorial and we want to uh, take the identity the identity is the same as taking uh, the first subtracting the first term of this series so this can be bounded by well if we put the norm inside the sum we will have k1 to infinity of absolute value of hk norm of a k k factorial and this is equal to e is just definition h absolute value norm a k minus one this minus one comes from the fact that we are not summing from k equals zero okay so if h goes to zero this will be zero then we will have the limit h a e h a is equal to identity and so we will have that um, this map t e t a is continuous Okay, so we will define ETA, the one can say one parameter semigroup generated uh, by the matrix, the matrix A in M. Okay, so this is semigroup or matrices and complex numbers.